Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. If you like to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And also guys, I am on Facebook. I have a uh, Facebook group called Miss Serenity Smith Doll Chat Club. Also, I have a vlog, which is MissRenniesmithBabies.com. And also, I have the Chatterbox, which is a paid membership. Speaking of which, um, I don't know if you'll see this video before, but I will be going live to talk about some um, serious community topics um, within that um, membership. It is $1.99 to join that particular membership, and you do have to be at least 18 years old or older. Now, for those that may be new to my channel, I just want to introduce my little girl. She is baby Phoebe. Phoebe is a um, Willow Awake full body silicone kit sculpted and poured by Claire Teller Dolls. And she is painted by me. Um, I did have her rooted by someone else, but she is painted by me. Um, so I'm going to get her dressed. And I always have to give this disclosure. Phoebe is not perfect but she's perfect for me she is a forever baby she is probably one of the very few babies that will never leave my nursery um i i will give a tip to some people that may be just starting to paint for themselves one of the things i would definitely sit suggest to you is that um once you get a baby and you're pretty satisfied with it and if you don't like I don't know if you guys can see it completely. Okay. Um, and you guys don't, um, you make a mistake and stuff like that. Be careful when you go back trying to fix your mistakes because a lot of times you do that and then you make more mistakes. And um, you just make the problem worse. And so um, my suggestion is to probably just leave it and move on. Um that's just my suggestion because I worked on Phoebe several times and I just recently even tried to do a little something to her and I messed up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's like, no, I think I'll just better leave her before I be done messed her up even worse. But I mean, it's little things that's not detrimental, but I would never sell her. I would never sell it because I absolutely love the Willow Sculpts um, and I love her. I really wish that I had gotten a Willow asleep for myself um, to paint because I would have loved to have painted my own Willow asleep. Um, but that didn't happen. I missed out. You know, sometimes we get so caught up. I had Noah at the time, which was the prototype, so I... You know, I didn't feel that I needed the blank. Um, so, but I wish I had. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, this is my little girl. She pretty much stays in my room. She was being out in the nursery a little bit more, but that kind of changed. She ended up going back to my room. And I have like, you know, little spaces in there in my room for my babies um like you know little bassinets beds and stuff like that and so they have their little spot um and I just like having them in there um sometimes um one you know it's a very secure space and two I love when I you know I get up in the morning I look over, I see the babies, um, or when I get, you know, home from work or, you know, walk into my room, I see the babies. And I am one of those people where I do like um, to hold my dolls, which is why I'm particular about the feel of the doll. Um, but I am not a person that, like, hold my babies, like, all the time. I do more posing and uh, watching them. <laughs> And I used to do more dressing of the babies, but 
I don't dress them as often as I used to. Um, they can wear the same outfit for a long time, but I do like for them to have nice, you know, nice things to put on when I do get ready to dress them. So I do like to shop and I do like to, you know, photograph them quite a bit. Uh -oh. There we go. So, yeah, so that, that's that. Um, she's putting on her little undershirt. I'm going to put her on this little romper. I like her in sleepers and stuff like that. She's, she's like a gooey soft and I love it. Um, because she feels like so cuddly in like sleepers and pants and stuff like that. When she puts on her pajamas and stuff. Um, she is definitely my most cuddly baby. Um, in... The nursery so far i don't know when i hold andrew <laughs> how he's gonna feel but he is actually a little baby so i think he's gonna be probably next in line and winter um winter is very um cuddly too that's she's my she's my love bug um i haven't did much with winter lately because she's just waiting for her turn to you know, I want to finish up her and Luca um, matting, and then you know have them ready to root. I think you know, and that's that. I think with my silicone babies, I really be wanting them to have their hair done. Um, the vinyl, I'm kind of, I guess I'm okay with them being bald a lot of times, but. For whatever reason, I, I really be wanting my vinyl, my silicone babies to be rooted. Maybe because they are like the ultimate realism and I just feel like they need hair. Even if it's just a little peach fuzz. Um, but then sometimes, you know, like I said, if I have, if, if I have cute hats and stuff for them, I don't mind. Like uh, winter, I'm not going crazy with her not having hair um because she looks cute in hats and i'm okay for now because i know she will get hair eventually um so yeah um i'm not i'm not worried about her as much um luca will get hair soon though he right after i finish i have a little side project that i'm going to be working on and then um after that, Luca will get here. Look at her. Look at you looking so cute. <laughs> a lot of times people be like, oh, it's hot. I won't, I don't want to put my babies on, um, you know, long sleeves and stuff like that. But babies are cold a lot of times. And, you know, we have the AC on in, in the house a lot of times in the summer. And it's usually like freezing in the house. So... I think the babies are okay with still wearing long sleeves sometimes. And especially if they're going out in the night. Because if it was a real baby and they were going out in that night air, um, as the old folks would say, you'd have to cover those babies up. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, Phoebe is definitely still my love bug. I still totally love her. Um, I still will say, though, that Luca painting is like five times better than her painting um just for several reasons but um I think that her skin tone and everything turned out really pretty on her and so I'm I'm happy I'm happy with with her and I think that she you know definitely hold her own the sculpting on her really carries her a lot too um so she's, you know, she's just a beautiful baby all the way around, in my opinion. But you know, I'm biased; it's my baby, so <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna think that, you know. But I think that, um, I don't know. I just, I just think that she, um, she's just the perfect baby for me, and I think that she, um, her and Luca is in similar ranges i think um her original state was closer to um luca but 
as I kept working on her, it changed some of her, you know, depth and stuff like that. And so, but yeah, each baby I try to grow and, you know, I don't feel bad. Like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you'll, you know, some of my artist friends have told me that, you know, you love that baby now because it's your best work, but then you're going to get better and you're going to want to get rid of that one. I think that doesn't always happen because like, um, there's babies that I feel like I could probably paint better now, but I still wouldn't like, even if I was to get another willow awake or willow asleep blank kit and was to paint them, I would still appreciate, um, Phoebe. She's just, I just love everything about her. And it's funny because I really modeled Phoebe after my real children and well, my real daughter. And then the, um, uh, Phoenix, when I, she, as her color start coming in, I go, oh my gosh, she kind of looks like Phoenix. Her color is starting to look like Phoenix. So I tried to do her lips <laughs> and stuff like Phoenix. So, um, just a lot of crazy things that just randomly went on with the process of making her. But she's, she's, like I said, she's a very cuddly, sweet little baby. Um, and I just love everything about her. Um, despite her flaws. So I just tell you guys that to let you guys know. Because I don't want you guys, nobody to think that I'm full of myself and think that, you know, I'm all that or whatever and like I make the best babies in the world or I'm running around here trying to act like I'm a master artist or some crap because I'm not and I'm not perfect and I've only been painting silicone for what a year now and so um I still got a lot to learn just like I do with vinyls and I've been painting vinyl for a couple years now but I still have so much to learn you can always learn more in this art and it's it's not even about well it is learning but it's like you start to find your way find your style and stuff like that and that's my thing but anyway i just thought i would come on and show her um that's my snuggle boogums and i'll probably put her on some socks but will probably be like pink socks and she will be done so until next time guys thanks for watching I appreciate you guys. I think I will be getting baby Kenya dressed next. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.